with him coming in from day one. What? From day one. Like, we've been, t like, he's called me, like, Nicole put us in touch, and he called me, like, at least a month before the show, and I didn't know who he was. And he was like, yeah, we have the same reputation, and, like, we're both evil. And he was like, let's, um, work together. And I'm like, all right, but I got my boogie with me. He's like, all right. And then Kaser called me, and James didn't know, so I had both of them. <laughs> So I'm like, Boogie. what? Are you serious? No, Boogie doesn't know about Kaser, but he knows about James, and he James, he would talk to James like all the time on the phone, and then they became like friends. So then, then because came, that's how that's how James told me um, when he called me that one day, and he was like, yeah, so did you hear about um, season four and five working together about the Mr. And Mrs. Smith thing? And I was like, no, what did you, you hear? And he goes, well, Mike Boogie called and told uh -huh. me that he saw them at the restaurant. Uh -huh. and I was like. Yeah, like Mike Boogie. Yeah, I was thinking, why would Mike Boogie call So we you? were working with him from day one, but he was so shady, we couldn't work with him. He wasn't really working with the other, he was, I mean... Exactly, he was doing, he was throwing us under the... Like, this is the thing, anyone who really wanted to work with us, we would have really worked with him, because we mm -hmm. had nobody. Yeah. So Marcel said he'll really work with us, we got here, and he jumped ship. James said he was going to really work with us, and we got here, and he jumped ship. Kaser only, he, Kaser and I had something that no one, that, like, no one else knew about. And I was like, look, I'm always going to look out for Boogie, but I'll look out for you as best I can. Mm -hmm. And he was like, okay. And he, I actually felt, was pretty loyal to that commitment. But yeah. it was James who was the main one who, like, I mean, I probably talked to him 20 times before the show. And wow, the day before that's the show, crazy. Wait, the day before the show, Kaser called me at least a dozen times. Because I was at work and I wouldn't pick up. I mean, my whole phone, like, missed call, missed call, Kaser, 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 Kaser. Really? Mm -hmm. And that's what I knew. I was trying to tell you, but I couldn't tell you. I was like... Trust me, James is super shady because, like, he has a, like, he obviously had to deal with Danielle. Yeah, that was obvious. Are you feeling okay? Mm hmm. Right. I know you were sick. Yeah, I'm fine. Right. Yeah, James is super shady. Let me see what other deals. Um, but like scrub with Boogie before the show, but that was just because he needed it. I mean, he needed an ally. Yeah, but it's like you can't really make pregame alliances because you don't know what's gonna happen. You don't know who you can trust more than others. The, the, but the whole point is that's why. Okay, like, they don't mean shit. They don't mean shit unless you're loyal to them, and that's the. And thing. no one was. No, somebody was. Who? Me, Boogie. No, I know, but we didn't have a pregame alliance. No, but I told you, like, if you show me good faith, I'll show you good faith. Yeah. I think you showed me so many times that, like, that's why we're still here. The thing is, it's like, with your alliance, like, this week, Eric, you know, like, Eric was like, if I win this, I'm going to send her out. And we're like, mm -hmm. cool. You know, of course, we're, like, telling her we're cool with that, but we're actually working with you. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as, so she's like, cool, awesome, right? And we're like, sure. And then as soon as it's like this, she's like, well, I'm going to campaign. It's like, go ahead, you know, like, you go ahead because you're so unloyal. All you've done is kiss butt the entire season, and that's what you get by being a floater and a butt kisser instead mm -hmm. of seeing how actual what like that's what is, that's what I've been saying in the DR lately. It's like we are the evil people of the season, Mike Boogie and I. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, you read the read what it says on the wall and loyalty. That's why we're here. We're mm -hmm. incredibly loyal. We told everyone, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so like you don't have the floaters didn't have loyalty. They had float. They were floater, but they weren't loyal. They weren't loyal at all. And like you're like James wasn't loyal to you, Howie was, but I mean like you your team took a lot of hits, but like you're here because you're really loyal. Mm -hmm. So the if you want to look at this and you want to look at what has prevailed, we'll take a look. It's loyalty. Yeah. And loyalty is like really important in my life and my friends and everything. And um, what? you have to do the right thing, you know? Mm -hmm. There's the, You can do it the easy way or you can do it the right way, and there's just certain things you have to do a certain way. Yeah. 
But that's why all those pregame alliances, they were only as convenient as they needed to be. They were just all bullshit. Total bullshit. That's why I never, I never really believed any of them. I mean, I can't even imagine how many people had secret alliances because, like, Marcellus had a fake one with us. Kaser did. James did. But we knew they were so shady. Like, we knew that they were shady from, from like, before the show even started, yeah. Well, pre-game alliances are bullshit because you haven't really met the people. Exactly. You haven't played with them before. You're like, what the fuck? Um, no, like, with Mercy and Erica, like, them calling me and stuff, I was like, yeah, cool, if it works out like that. Like, I didn't really know. Sure. I was just kind of, like, open-ended. Well, it's like before the show, beginner, like, how are we going to do this? And he's like, yeah, I think I should go in and pretend like I'm against you this time. I'm like, dude, that's yeah, never right. going to work. <laughs> like, that's not going to work for one minute. He's like, all right. But he told the producers that. And if you noticed in the casting special, he was kind of like saying that a little bit. Yeah. And it worked a little bit with the producers. I think it helped him get on. Because he was like, I had to live in Will Shadow. Like, he had a good, like, because he's a really good actor. So he had really good mm -hmm. arguments with them. But I think they knew we were together. I told him I wanted to have a wing case there. <laughs> this is a good pillow wall. Mm -hmm. You can't touch me at all. Because I know you want to. <laughs> no, I don't. Okay. That's a really cute story you told me about that little girl who, like, came to talk to you. It's so cute. Well, but you have to understand, too, that's, like, it's even way cuter than that because that, like, like she that's... obviously idolizes you. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. she watches the show and then is, like, you're, like... I think you're... it's cute, like, she's, like, I always wear it to the right side. That's my hair, because I always, I've been wearing it like, forever. Like, but I part it that way. It's super cute because, like, she, you know, I, like, it's, it's one thing for her just to like you, but, I mean, like, she could have, you know... Like, clearly, she watches the show <laughs> and just, like, really likes you because of it. Yeah. That's a really good sign for you, to, you know. Likes you, too. Bet not. <laughs> <laughs> Bet not. So, um, don't, I mean, don't tell anyone that's even buggy, okay? Mm -hmm. We, you know, the, the phone calls that we, that you and I do? Yeah. We've been doing those since week one, buggy and I. Oh, really? And we call it, we call each other, we fake phone calls, we call each other, <laughs> just throw everybody on the bus. What do you say? <laughs> they're so funny, like, um, God, they're so fucking funny. Like, um, just whatever we do, we call it, like, I, I, you'll have to wait and see the show. <laughs> but, we were, we, but like, when we first started working with you, we had never done with, with anyone else, and I was like, I want to have a call with Janelle. And uh, Boogie's like, I want to, but we have to make sure we can trust her first because like we don't want to get like talked out, you know. Yeah. And then, um, and then you did that call that I ran. I randomly did that call with you, and you're like, Yeah, you do you want to join? And you're like, oh, Yeah, well, it costs three alliance members. <laughs> I was like, Oh my god, this is so funny. And I was like, Boogie, she totally gets it. Like she was really funny. But we did one with Neil Patrick Harris too. You did? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not fair. It was awesome. Like I called Boogie. So I click on my fake phone. <laughs> he rises up from behind the couch. He's like, what's <laughs> up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, we need Neil Patrick Harris to help us. <laughs> but we weren't sure if they were making it on the show or not, because we always do it, and Neil Patrick Harris was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>